Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. May God bless you all. Peter Obi's presidential ambition has received a huge boost. As some prominent PDP chieftains defend to Labour Party in the Boni State, Chief Linus Okore, a former House of Representatives member, is one of the new defectors in the Southeast State. Aselem Onigwe, a former commissioner for education in the state, also joined the Labour Party alongside Okere and others. A former House of Representatives member and chieftain of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Chief Linus Okore and three other chieftains of the party have dumped the main opposition party for the Labour Party in the Bonin State. Others who defected to the Labour Party include the governorship aspirant of the PDP, Chief Eze Emmanuel, a chieftain of the party, Aslem Enigwe, a former commissioner for education in the state, and Prince Chibweze Ambo, the punch reported. In another report, a former presidential aspirant of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in the 2029 presidential election, Dr. S.K.C. Ubunaya has endorsed the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, ahead of the 2023 general elections. Ubunaya said that he endorsed the endorse, his endorsement of Obi was because the Labour Party presidential candidate is a democratic revolution whose time has come. He added that. Though he was endorsing Obi, he remains a member of the APC. Earlier, Legit NG reported that a respected Nigerian journalist, Sam, accused the supporters of Obi of sending him fed a death threat. This came a day after his latest article titled Obituary was published by Nation. Mr. Peter Obi, call your supporters to order. They are calling and issuing their strength. If anything happens to me, you will be held responsible, he tweeted. Meanwhile, Obi had previously asked his supporters to allow him to respond to any candidate who speaks about him. In a tweet on Monday, July 25th, Obi asked his supporters to concentrate on promoting their vision of making Nigeria a better country. So guys, what's your take on signing days? Peter Obi presidential ambition has received a huge boost. Has some prominent PDP chieftains deferred to Labour Party in the Boni State. Chief Linus Okori, a former House of Representatives member, is one of the new defectors in the Southeast State. Aselem Onigwe, a former commissioner for education in the state, also joined the Labour Party alongside Okuri and others. A former House of Representatives member and a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Chief Linus Okuri and three other chieftains of the party have dumped the main opposition party for the Labour Party in Ebony State. Others who defected to the Labour Party include the governorship aspirant of the PDP, Chief Eze Emmanuel, a chieftain of the party, Aslem Onigwe, a former commissioner for education in the state, and Prince Chimbweze Abu Punch reported. The Punch reported. In another report, a former presidential aspirant of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in the 2019 presidential election, Dr. S. K. C. Bonnaya has endorsed the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, ahead of the 2023 general elections. Bonnaya said that his endorsement of, his, of Obi was because the Labour Party presidential candidate is a democratic revolution whose time has come. He added that though he was endorsing Obi, he remains a member of the APC. 
Earlier, Legit NG reported that a respected Nigerian journalist, Sam, Sam accused the supporters of Obi of sending him fed death threats. This came a day after his latest article titled Obituary was published by the nation. Mr. Obi, call your supporters to order. They are calling and issuing death threats. If anything happens to me, you'll be held responsible, he tweeted. Meanwhile, Obi had previously asked his supporters to allow him to respond to any candidates who speaks about him. In a tweet on Monday, July 25th, Obi asked his supporters to concentrate on promoting their vision of making Nigeria a better country. Well, what I can just see here is that Peter Obi movement is greater than Peter Obi himself. He's divinely supported. That is just it. Even Peter Obi himself does not even know what is going on. I am telling you the gospel truth. Peter Obi himself does not even know what is going on. Nigerians have taken this upon themselves. And that is the reason why when they see anybody who want to discredit Peter Obi, as they have seen him as the only light, only light for now, they will come after you. That is just what is happening. If you talk anyhow, you go collect anyhow. Now suddenly they do them. You get. This time around, Nigerians have waken up from their slumber. They want to take their country back, back, their destiny back. This country does not belong to anybody. This is our father's land. Well, from now to December, wow, this country will shake because people who, do, who you do not even expect is going to decamp from their party and join this movement. Honestly, this is huge. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for having you here.